Hey there, Vikrant here. Hi, I'm Shorya. And today we shall be discussing. So Shorya, please tell us something about yourself. Uh, I'll be doing my masters in T U M in power engineering. How was your profile when you applied to T U M? Like your grades, G R E, internships, research paper, something like that. My GPA was about a three point five two or something like that. So it's not a very good GPA, but I mean it's it's definitely above average. My average GPA is three point two, three point one, something like that. Um, I had a lot of research experience. I had uh, two years um, in. my school's um, engine research center that i was working in so i just did research i was paid to do research there for like 2 years um that was something um, good on my profile and then i don't know tum doesn't really care too much about gre but i had to take it because i was applying here too in gre i had a 330 i almost did not have any uh like professional experience i had a few internships i interned at ford and stuff like that but that's pretty much it when did you do this internships like during the semester after the semester i just i was just doing the uh, in the summer times so when i would actually get some leave from my research work um so summers here are like 3.5 months so i would uh, have internships for like 2 to 2 and a half months at a time okay uh, did you want to work in ford or did you just no i mean the they wanted to actually end it end up like hiring me or that was the plan so they were actually like showing me stuff um they were actually like trying to have me choose a department of what i wanted um i at the time i really liked engines and and internal combustion engines and stuff like that so i was uh, working more with that i was working with the manufacturing stuff um but yeah pretty much that did you publish any research paper during your bachelor's no actually i did not i don't think that's a very big thing here in the us especially in the bachelor's you don't publish research i mean i guess some people do but it's not like I, from india i see people publish papers all the time but here it's really not i mean you, if you publish a research paper here you're really a big deal i mean you you i mean i did research for 2 years and i mean i had papers that i presented to the school and the faculty but i never like published anything in a magazine or anything like that no all right so once again you are in tum power engineering what was the admission process like it's it's f- very clear they you give them all the documents and they have if you go to their website it's very clearly laid out how they judge you you they take your look at your um, gpa they take a look at your recommendations even the recommendations are very germanized in the sense you, you, professors have to give you number of points based on oh i know this student is the best out of or top 1% or 2% out of this many students i've known in my life so you get points based on that you get points based on your gpa and then if you score above 95 points out of 100 you get direct admission so you don't have an interview uh, i scored 91 so i mean obviously i had to take an interview um and the interview is very very easy they'll just skype you or something like that or if you're in germany they could just go to tum um and they st- talk about your bachelor's and what you did and then based on what you did they'll ask you questions pretty basic questions in my opinion um but yeah so if you pass that interview they look at they take the average of your interview score and your gpa or something like gpa score and then they add it up and if you pass that you're in what exactly did you get asked during the interviews so the interview um is the, it's 30 minutes and it's divided into 15 15 the first 15 minutes they just they're it's very informal they just wanted to get to know you a bit more about what you studied but based on this the first 15 minutes they once they get an idea about what you studied they build on your technical questions So if you're for example if you're weak in say controls it's a good idea not to talk too much about controls in the first 15 minutes but if you're like oh I studied controls I did this then they will slam you with the controls questions in the second half and if you're not good at it then it's it's no but I mean yeah they're not looking for anything or any per- course in per- I think RWTH is a lot more into they're looking for specific things um TUM is not looking to it's just because the course is just extremely diverse um so they're not looking for very specific things everyone can succeed they're looking for mastery in your own field and if you can just show them that then it, it should be good all right we'll discuss you more about you your experiences and especially about TUM and your course in the next few videos till then bye 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 see ya